A potentially life-threatening situation stuck in the emergency room for hours. First Alert 4 first told you about area hospitals long wait times last night at 10. Now Melanie Johnson is live outside of Mercy Hospital after hearing from a woman, Melanie, who waited a half a day for treatment. Sam and Corey Murphy South tells me these long wait times are not just happening in their emergency room, but it's happening across the country. We spoke to two people who sat in their emergency room for more than 10 hours waiting to get help. One tells me it's a miracle that no one died. You can't do this to people. Sharon Kohler sat covered in blankets during a wait so long she took a nap to pass the time. This is a snapshot of what she calls a nightmare inside Mercy South Hospital's emergency room Tuesday. I just said, I want to go home. Please let me go home. Well, anybody could have died. Sharon's Aunt Rita drove her to the hospital after a primary care doctor advised them to take her to the ER because Sharon would not stop bleeding. We waited and we waited and we waited. Waiting as she bled onto the ER's floor, Sharon and her aunt tell First Alert 4 it took 12 hours for Sharon to finally get help because the ER was so packed. I would say 60, maybe 65, and the whole room, everybody was looking for chairs. They recall one man walking out with an IV still in his arm. He just left it in and walked out the door. It's terrible for people to have to deal with this. It was no sympathy for anybody. There was no, we will be with you. I'm sorry, we're, we're short staffed. We do the best we can to get the sickest people seen first and try to get everybody taken care of. Mercy Hospital Emergency Room Dr. John Fortney says these wait times are a reflection of the state of hospital workers nationwide. He recommends people go to urgent care or call their primary physician before coming to the ER. Wait times across the board, not just in the metro area, but nationally because the shortage of health care providers, health care workers, wait times are excessive, unfortunately. All the people around us, they were all saying that they had been there since 6 in the morning, yeah. that they were still waiting, and this is going on like 3 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. For Sharon, she's thankful she is still alive to tell her story, but is demanding immediate change. Mercy needs to wake up. Mercy Hospital officials tell me the middle of the day and the evenings are the busiest times for hospitals. So keep that in mind if you want to go. Sharon and her aunt tell me they will never go to Mercy South's emergency room ever again. Melanie Johnson, First Alert 4.